Did you ever hear how to calculate how much Delta V you can get from your RCS? I thought not. It's not something the game would tell you. It's a Kerbal legend. In order to do this, we need to use something called the Chilkovsky rocket equation, which can be used generally to calculate how much Delta V a rocket stage will have. Whilst it might look intimidating if you've never seen it before, it's actually fairly simple to understand and use. The first thing we want to find is the specific impulse, or ISP, of our engines. This can be found by right-clicking them in the parts menu. Once we have that, we then need to take note of the total mass, also known as the wet mass, of our spacecraft in the engineer's report. Once we have the total mass, right-click all the fuel tanks containing the fuel you will use, and then empty them. Now look at the mass again. You will notice it is lower this time. This is what we will consider our final mass, or dry mass. We now have all the three values we need. Before calculating anything, make sure to put all the fuel back in the tanks. Notice this G term here at the end? This is the standard gravity, and it's roughly equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. Now we can plug all these numbers into the equation and get a value for the delta V. So how accurate is this calculation? Let's put it to the test. By starting at a velocity of 50 meters per second, we can burn our engines until we run out of fuel to see how much our velocity changes. Or in other words, see our total delta V.